Okay, here we go. This is Steve Broccolo from the Olacorp channel. I'm, uh, <clears throat> we're going to talk about installing Conky on pretty much any Debian based. Although, other than the script, it's pretty much the same for um, Arch based as well, except that has Conky Manager. And I guess it makes it simpler. I've gotten so used to using the script. Anyways, okay, so the first step, and whether you install Conky first or gather a collection of scripts first is your choice. I always have my .conky file ready to go. I use the same .conky on all my builds and most of the same Conky script, but I change it up every so often. There are hundreds of Conky script collections out there, mostly on GitHub, 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 a few on SourceForge. Uh, I download, for me, I download an MX Linux ISO. I booted it up and I put a cop copy of the Conky file on the U on a USB. Um, this is my Ventoy. And all these are bootable. That's the Ventoy system. Um, I use either of these two. I mostly use the KDE one because lately I've been doing a lot with KDE and I want to make sure that my um, my scripts are compatible with KDE. And MX, MX Linux is that one Debian that you that comes with the Conky Manager, MX Linux, and the NAX guys are like the gods of of uh, of Conky. Where I want to go? Okay, so let's pretend this is a USB. I just copied it on here just to be quick, and I have to change USBs. So here I have the the Conky. Just to show you what Ventoy looks like. I want to make it bigger. This is what it looks like. It's got all those. It's out of focus, but it's got everything you saw in that um, directory. Now, every single file manager that I know has a way to display hidden files. Nemo, show hidden files. But they all hold down the control key and hit H. So, pretending this is a USB, I would go ahead and copy this and sticking on my in my home okay the only thing other thing I would the other thing I would copy and move over let's do turn turn this off because I don't need to see that again so we can see it is this script okay and that's that's the script that I describe down here so you add the Conky scripts to your system, to the home folder, you add the launch script to your home folder, and oh, it's kind of redundant. Copy the launch. This is the launch script. Let's say copy the launch script below. Also to slash home. Then so here's the script. The thing with Conky is it wants the system settled down or it won't start up. So if there's things that are running that can interfere with it, um, it won't start up. Now, how it overcomes that with KDE desktops with a saved um, um, saved session, you come back and Conky's still there even if you didn't put it in the startup applications. I don't know. I don't know why it works there. Uh, I know it does. Maybe it's just holding on to a picture from the past, and then it takes time for it to activate. Um, 
Now this is the Conky script that is running. Okay. And typically you're going to put it in the auto start or the session startup or the startup applications. Every DE calls it something different. What's it, what's it called on uh, Cinnamon startup applications. Okay. So you're going to put it in here. I guess I'll show you real quick. And there's Conky and Fruit Roll Point. And there's Conky. We edit. All it is is that startup script. sh start underscore Conky dot sh. Okay. Setting the delay here doesn't seem to work. You can turn on delay. Setting a delay here, it just doesn't seem to work. It it. And I'm going to be honest. I haven't tried doing it a different way in several years. I came up with this way of doing it, and I've been doing it this way ever since. Maybe distros have changed a little bit. Maybe things have changed, and you can get away with doing it different ways. But this is the way I've done it. Um, now, let's go to... Where do I want to go to? No, I know where I want to go to. I want to go here. Um, what we're going to do is see this cocky script. We're going to edit it. You can use any editor. Cinnamon comes with XED. Some come with leaf pad. Some come with mouse pad. Um, Kate. I believe is the KDE one, K-A-T-E, whatever it is, XED, and I happen to know it's Conky slash. Now, you know what? You can also get at this through the file manager through Nemo. I could have just as easy clicked and clicked and clicked and opened it and it would have opened with the default. But, oh, so if I can't type, and I still can't type. Okay, so I misspelled something here. Oh, there it is. Okay, now there's a few things I'd want to fix out of the box on this. Um, I forget what it comes with. I put anti-x to show, it, but it comes something like that, like mx-linux or anti-x linux. It, it's got a name up here. So whatever that name is, you're going to search for that. Control F anti-x. There it is. And what what we're going to do is we're going to replace that with dollar sign node name. And then I'm going to hold control S and save it. It'll disappear and it'll come back with the new one. And now it shows the node name. It shows this name. Steve at LMD T520. All right, what else do we want to show? Okay, there's a couple of things. I'd like to see the um, the network adapter show up on this. And if you read through it, you would see it trying to do it. Now, this is in the document, which, which is going to be in the um, description or comments. How to find the interface. There it is. I'm using the mouse. Copy that. I'm going to come back over to here. And I know this is under template.
Okay, network templates. All right, you scroll down. You could have scrolled down till you found this, the templates for the different things. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to replace this one. Right? See that? Okay. Control S. Watch what happens. Boom. There it is. If I want to move it over or move it move it back, I'm going to look for gap because it's the gap between the up and left. Okay. And gap between borders of screen and text. Okay. That's left to right, Y is up and down. So I want to push it further down the screen, I increase Y. I want to push it further to the left, I increase X. I want to get closer, reduce it, obviously. Okay, now, right above it is this alignment that it's set for top right. So we can change that. I'm going to uses double dash which it uses as a kind of a, a hash mark and I'm gonna put it on the bottom right okay now I want you to notice something this is not formatted like this so I need to format it like that so we've got single quote well, first space equal Single quote. And notice how it ends in an apostrophe, uh, on a, a comma. It's got to look exactly like it, except for the variable we've changed. Now we're going to control S. Is that the right? That seems like the bottom left. Okay, so it popped up over my uh, face here. Guess uh, I'd have to adjust that find out why it does it that way so there are other choices by the way oh did I forget to comment it yeah I did <laughs> so it went to that bottom left default I guess um, so there I moved it to the bottom right There it is. Now I might have to change that background <coughs> screen. Oh, we're gonna comment it out. I'm gonna put this back. Gotta follow its form formatting. Control S. Gonna disappear. It's gonna pop back up. I'm going to change the background to something darker. There we go. Good enough. All right. Now, chose the root. I tend to have my home in a separate one, partition, and I'd like to see what that is. I got a, I've already made a copy of it. I've already had it in here. Um, Basically, I copied the one for root. I changed the name from root to home here. I changed it from root to home. I left the slash, which is this slash, the separator, and then I, again, one slash home. This next one, I'm playing with trying to do weather. These are desklets, and I would really like to replace those with conky scripts, but I got nothing even close. I'm this is all it has is the is is the link to the NOAA saved here so I know where to look for it. Um, so we're gonna control save that. It's gonna disappear, and now we have home here. So I, I just did a quickie. Um,
if IW Dev doesn't work on your system, IW Config might. If IW Config doesn't work on your system, there's another one. Come on. Uh, or less. Okay. And that's that's the other way. We can we, we can find it. So I know IW config comes with wireless dash tools which is not not on a lot of systems and especially like base debian you have to add wireless tools dash tools and i think iw iw is included mostly if it's not then use this final one all that's in the document It'll be in the description, or if it's too long for a description, it'll be in a comment. I think I just told you all you need to do to add Conky. And so I'm going to say goodbye for now. Enjoy.